that down. Hello everyone. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton uh, two days after Christmas. Um, and uh, we're with our patient Anna and Assistant Maria. We're having fun here. Uh, this particular assignment or procedure today has to do with teeth numbers 2, 3, and 5. 2, 3, and 5. If, as you can see, we're already cleaning out tooth number 3. 2 had a little repair on the lingual. Alright, so we're going to get back to work here. I'm going to use a round burr. Or, uh, we've outlined this particular prep and we're trying to stay as conservative as we can. I'm going to introduce just a little vibration now in water. I'm uh, just going to touch base with Anna. Are you okay? Everything good? Yeah, she's good. I'm using a number six round burr, and we're just gently going in. I'm taking a little more dentin away at a time. As you can see on that mesial aspect, we got a, a little bit more. Let me have another uh, mirror, Maria, please. All right, let me just clean a little bit more, and we'll change out our mirrors. And you can see how. He, the compromised dentin just flakes away very easily. Now we're using a stereo zoom microscope. And just dry the mirror, please. And just gently dry the tooth now. Just gently air on it. That's it. And you're going to feel just a little more. I'm going to push a little bit. And we just get a little more to clean out that lingual. Okay, rinse that thoroughly. And just gentle air now. And air again. All right. All right. Good. Now I'm going to go around the area. We're going to surround or corral this area of decay. And I think we're still in focus. Looks pretty good. A little air. And we're going to use something called Vitrobon in the middle of this tooth. I'll be right in this Opal area. See that right there is a telomid no no zone there. And we'll go around the other side. And we're very careful to protect this tooth and insulate it. Now I've got to get down in that area. And there's another spot on the x ray on the distal, so it's, I'm going to go through that now. You'll see how that changes color. And you see that? That's the distal area of decay. So we'll open that up. And see if I can conserve some of this enamel. And uh, can, if it's down in between the teeth. Seems to be tunneling toward the lingual. Alright. that, Maria? Okay. Alrighty. Anna doing alright? Alright, excellent. I'm going to take a good look at that distal aspect.
And you can see how that's all materialized on the inside. longer shank burr. We'll see. If I open this up a little bit more. So we're going to switch now to a longer shank burr and continue to clean that out. shank in there. A long, uh, we have a round burr, long, slow speed round burr. Okay. Longer if you got it. Surgical length. Okay. Let's, uh, Let me go to a long chamfer burr. Okay. Now, I'm going to come into this mesial aspect and let's clean that up next. Not only does this have to be done properly, but also the contact of the adjacent tooth on an old crown needs to be polished properly. So that is definitely one of the steps. Uh, what we are going to do is finish up the preparation and then we'll walk you through exactly what we do to build this tooth up using uh, various uh, composites and bonding agents. Uh, It'll be interesting to see how this one turns out, and I will definitely pick that one up with you at the next video. Uh, this is uh, Jerry Cuomo. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to call me. All right. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.